Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've updated. Uh, I was just going through the motions. Um, this is a week 15. I am down 61 pounds. <clears throat> How I'm feeling? I'm feeling good, but my joints are a little achy sometimes. A couple of days ago, my um, ankles were swollen for a couple of days, which was really weird. I don't know if it was water or I'm not drinking enough water. I don't know about, about that. Um, my depression's been here, there, and everywhere, so I'm thinking about talking to my doctor about um, adjusting my meds so I can get back on track. Um, I go back to work in a couple of days, so that's interesting, I guess. Um, excuse me. I spent so much money trying to fix my car, and it just didn't work out, and it's really frustrating. So there's that. Um... At about 13 and a half weeks, I was able to finally tolerate salad again, which was wonderful because I was missing salad so bad. And I was finally able to eat apples and stuff like that. Of course, I still have to peel them, but you know, that's exciting. What I've really been eating nowadays, like, I'm obsessed with Greek yogurt. Like, I could put it on everything, guys. Like, everything. Like, I'll make a salad, top it with Greek yogurt and lemon and salt and pepper, and I'll just go to town, and I love it. Or I'll make myself, like, a parfait, and I'll just put the Greek yogurt and fruit and maybe, like, a um, packet of Splenda. Um, what's... <clears throat> I noticed from the beginning, and I kind of was like, eh, I don't know, but I just... Meat doesn't sit well for me at all, and... The thought of it makes me gag and I've thrown up so many times from it so I'm just over it so now it's kind of I'm on um, pescatarian so basically I um I'll consume some seafood products dairy nuts meatless proteins um, protein shakes um, yeah fruits vegetables that's it but I don't I don't bother with meat anymore and I kind of think it's pointless so I've been trying to find things that work for me so I found like meatless um chicken strips and beefless beef tips stuff like that and like my family thinks it's hilarious they're like there's no such thing and I'm just like okay whatever whatever works for my tummy and is gonna help me to stay nourished and everything like that is what works for me what works for some works for some doesn't work for all um what have I noticed um I've been going to the gym on and off that's a, a thing too but some days my depression is so bad that I just literally can't drag myself out of bed and I absolutely hate it. But I, those are the days you just got to push through. <sighs> and um, I think I told you guys a couple of videos back about me getting my cat. I actually had sent her back to my mom's house um, for a couple of weeks. <coughs> As I didn't feel like she was fully... Um, I didn't feel like she like fully got the extent of um, the breastfeeding with her mom and I just didn't want to pull her away from her siblings so I brought her back for a couple of weeks so I'm going to get her back next week whatever I've been missing her like crazy so that's that um what else not much has really been going on with me like my weight fluctuates between a couple of pounds and that drives me absolutely insane so I'm getting to the point where I'm really about to like put my um scale away for like good because it just it's super frustrating and my job changed my work schedule so at first um I was gonna just get a bike but then I found out there's weight restrictions on bike and there's not a lot of places around here where you can buy a really good bike unless you go to like a bike store and you're looking to spend like 300 plus dollars and I'm just like oh money's so tight right now that I just cannot do that so I'm just like I guess I'll be walking like three, four miles home every single day after work. I mean, it's great. I'll get my exercise in, but I'm going to be so exhausted. So there's that, but I'm grateful to um, be going back to work. And I'm grateful for the time that I had out because I really needed it. I was really trying to figure out like how to eat better, how to hydrate as best as I can, um, what's going to work for me. Um... I was worried about the passing out and everything like that so that's pretty much better and then I was suffering so bad for my depression and anxiety that I literally could not function so everything was just piled on another so like it was really tough so eating wise I'm doing really good now I could pretty much 
eat anything healthy. I'm not gonna be putting bad stuff in my body because I learned my lesson with that one and I've gotten, I've dumped really bad and that's something that I just don't want to do again. I'm like, I'm all set with that. So, <clears throat> but otherwise, this is week 15. I am down 61 pounds. Um, supposedly, I think I told you guys in like the last couple of videos that I'm shorter now. That's interesting to me. Um, my feet, I've lost weight in my feet. My butt went my boobs like I didn't really have boobs from the start so <laughs> there's that but they went down a lot it's just my midsection is just driving me nuts but um other than that everything's going pretty good and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible